Marvel Legends fans and collectors, we've got the next figure from Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, and I'll try not to bump the camera again. We have Spider-Man Noir and Spider-Ham. <laughs> Um, yeah, these are ones I definitely wanted to pick up as soon as they're announced. I think they look fantastic. And uh, I did miss the sort of realistic sort of Spider-Man noir last time, this realistic comic one. Um, so this one's sort of slightly more animated to fit in with the style of the film. Um, so I'm, I'm really, really impressed with this one. This one's sort of just come out in uh, Big W. And they currently have these on sale. So I thought I'd pick it up for a bit more reasonable price than the, the new sort of retail price that these things are going for, um, which is just a little bit too high. So yeah, just glad I sort of hung out for sale. And uh, yeah, I'm excited about these ones. I haven't had Spider Ham before because I missed out on the. I think it came with he came with Spider Gwen. I can't remember now. But yeah, I only got the Peter Parker from the sort of first light run of um, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse figures. So I'm excited about this one. So we'll take a look at Spider-Ham first. Let's zoom in a little bit. There we go. So apparently he's a little bit more of a lighter red than the than the last last one that we got. Um, but essentially the same figure. Um, more of an accessory, but still cool. You know, it just has the ball joint in the head. And yeah, that, that's pretty much it. But he looks great too, I think he's cool. Nice little pose there. He'll look good with the other figures. I do need to track down uh, Miles and Gwen and um, Prowler. Because yeah, like I said, I only got Peter Parker. Peter B. Parker, but I, I was still happy with it, so. So yeah, there's Spider-Ham. Now let's like a look at Spider-Man Noir. Here we have him. This is a really, really nice figure. Um, yeah, sort of no changes of hands. Um, I'm still undecided how I feel about the trench coat. It's sort of molded out that way. It looks cool. Um, but yeah, I don't know. This just... I don't know what it is. I feel like it would have been nice if it was sort of down down along the side of his legs, a little bit more natural, but um, it's still cool. It's, un it's only awkward just because of the hand, this sort of, the left arm wants to sort of sit out forward or back, but it's all right, it's not a big deal. Uh, it does come with a switch out head, so you can swap out the head for the hatless version, um, but I like the hat, I dig the hat, I think the hat looks really good, really into that. It does come with this small little pistol, um, which does fit in the holster. And the holster's quite big, so it will sort of fall in there. I had to get tweezers to pick it out, um, just because that was quite big. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a nice figure all over, nicely sculpted, um, all sort of modern articulation. It's sort of this sort of dot work throughout the costume, which looks cool. Just a little bit of like, I don't know, a little bit of shading, I guess, just to add a little bit more. The sculpt of the cat, the the trench coat is really nice, actually. Like these separate parts for the for the strap, um, and the articulation's pretty decent. You know, the the collar sort of does sort of you know allow that to sort of not move as much as it probably could. It probably could move back a little bit more, but that's okay. It does have this little separate collar piece there for the. Uh, sort of sweater jumper he's wearing underneath. Despite my hands, <laughs> this whole video looks like it's in black and white from where I'm filming. But yeah, some a change of hands would have been nice. Just, you know, he comes with two trigger fingers, which is a little bit weird. Um, but I'm sure I can find some just plain black fists somewhere just to, just to sort of swap that one out. And keep one for the for the gun. But yeah, it's a nice looking Spidey. I, I dig him a lot. I really liked the uh, was it the Spider Verse game from a few years ago, or probably close to ten years ago now. Uh, I think that was called Into the Spider Verse too. I can't remember. That was like you go through different. Yeah, I can't remember what the game was called, but it, you got to do one part of the game as Noir Spider-Man, and it was sort of real. That was really cool. So 
this is an awesome figure to have. I'm really, really happy to have this one. He looks great. Um, yeah, I'm just still not sure about the, the cape. It, it, the Sorry, it's not really a cape, it's a coat, but it'll look good for some photographs. Um, you know, sort of natural, sort of blow in the wind. Put the legs out like that, I don't know. I don't know how I feel. But it is cool, gives him a little bit more of a dramatic look. Really cool silhouette too. Um, which is something I'm excited about, you know, playing with for photographs. But yeah, love to hear your thoughts. Please send out in the comments below. I do recommend this one. He'd be uh, definitely a nice addition to your Into the Spider-Verse line. So I'll end that there. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Spider-Man Noir and Spider-Ham. So we'll see you on another video very, very soon. Until then, have a good one. Yeah.